Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. In this video series, I'm going to be unboxing, uh, doing a disassembly and a rebuild and then some modifications along with some testing and whatnot on uh, this RC car. Now, there's a little bit of history uh, behind my decision on this. There's a, a car available through Banggood among other places and it's uh, basically described by a number uh, 144001 and if you uh, Google search that number you'll find a ton of videos on that car. I thought about getting one in various times and a couple others in that same class but it was just a little short uh, it didn't seem like it was going to be as stable because of the wheelbase. Uh, they just came out with this new vehicle, and this one has the number uh, 124019. And it's not this crawler-looking vehicle. It's this all-wheel drive buggy, the purple one here. And it's almost identical to the... 144001 with the exception of a longer wheelbase which is what I've always felt was the weak spot so we have a charger a tool and a manual and this is most likely our radio which I'm going to be replacing immediately um, the thing that I find problematic about these little radios aside from the fact that they just feel chintzy and whatnot is that they don't have the adjustments that you really need to take advantage of a vehicle um, especially if it's got any kind of performance to it and when i say take advantage i'm talking about things like um, proportional being able to uh, adjust how much steering influence you get at the beginning of the stick versus the end of the throw uh, things of that nature um, endpoint adjustments, things like that. Things that you only get with a higher end radio. Um, now, that's just a matter of swapping out a receiver, and in this case, I think the receiver speed controller are one, so it's going to mean an extra uh, speed controller as well. And since this is a brushed motor, I'm probably going to do a brushed upgrade on this too. So we're going to, I'll start, you know, kind of an as is thing. But, and these are just uh, empty cardboard here that comes fully assembled. It's nicely packaged. Everything, uh, there we have our vehicle. Now, a lot of times the shock absorbers on pre-made cars either don't have any oil or they don't have enough. So doing a rebuild on the shocks is pretty much a must do. Another thing is that the differentials aren't always properly lubricated. Uh, sometimes they're just uh, filled with a little bit of grease. Um, and uh, if it's a sealed diff, you really want to be able to um, do a little better than that. Um, as you can see, it comes with a battery. And I've got some extra batteries in this uh, basic size. Let me just uh, grab one for comparison. This is a about the same size here. It's a 1500 milliamp 50C battery. These are relatively inexpensive. I think I got a pair of these from Amazon for about, oh, what was it? Uh, about $25 or something. Uh, it's just got a standard Dean's connector. Got a little servo in there. Might upgrade that to a Metal Gear servo. We'll have to take a look at what's there. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a pretty decent kit out of the box it's the suspension obviously needs to be adjusted it's got a tremendous amount of tow out but what we have here is adjustable turnbuckles front and rear suspension and steering we've got multiple shock tower locations we've got uh, a couple of locations down here for our shock positioning um, we've only got single position in the front here for our camber link but we have two positions here. So we have a little bit of suspension adjustability. There's some tuning that we can do. In the rear, we've got, uh, it's two, it might even be three positions if the hole is a, uh, like a kind of an ellipti ellipse or a overlapping hole, like a figure eight type style. Uh, rear shock absorbers, we've got two upper positions, two lower positions, just like in front. 
actually in front I think we really only have one that's that might be a shock position it might be a lightning hole like this one I'm not sure that's actually a shock position these two inner ones here um, got a pretty big motor in it I think it's a, a 550 size motor um, you know decent little wing here we got a you know nice bracket that holds it in position I mean it's it's it looks a lot like any high-end RC car um, you know I don't think we've got a couple of little suspension pills back here if you can see those are elliptical and these are elliptical left to right so we may be able to flip these left and right to adjust our toe and likewise uh, the front ones may be able to move up and down if they are that would adjust our anti-squat um, and it looks like there's some might be some front adjustability there so one of the things I want to do is take this apart and really go through it and uh, do a complete rebuild on it from the get-go you know make sure everything's properly greased um, I've heard of some people getting the 14 uh, the uh, 144001s and getting a lot of gear chatter shortly after they start uh, tearing tearing around with it um, that's probably uh, diff issues and there are some uh, aftermarket parts available not aftermarket they're you know they're come from Banggood but there are some upgrade parts as they call them um, you can get replacement for things like these uh, these suspension arms are you know they sell replacements for those so uh, oh, also the rear camber link uh, we've got two positions uh, an inner and an outer out here and at least an upper and a lower maybe uh, oh it looks like there's three positions uh, so we've got uh, we're in a medium and outer so uh, this thing has a, a reasonable amount of you know tunability to it uh, which is surprising cars like this you usually don't get that uh, you usually don't get turnbuckles um, this is about hundred and ten dollars we even got a turnbuckle here uh, connecting our servo to our steering linkage uh, so you know this this is nice um, it's got a lot of potential to be a, a fun little car to drive um, may not be the best tires doesn't I'm not sure that there's any foams in there it's hard to tell they feel a little soft but they're definitely vented you can hear air going out um, you know we've got a set of aluminum shocks and we have uh, adjustable preload and the adjustment is threaded so we're not sticking little plastic inserts in uh, not getting a you know standard adjustment so if you were going to run this out of the box the first thing you'd want to do is uh, take um, a little wrench and and make adjustments to these steering linkages because it, it's horribly towed out that's probably if we okay if that looks like it's about straight ahead we're, we're talking 10 to 15 degrees of uh, tow out so that's going to make the car you know extremely twitchy and, and weird handling um, our receiver is definitely a, uh, a built-in to the ESC type receiver um, but I'm probably gonna ditch both of these in favor of, uh, of something else um, I'll probably give it a few runs as is just to show you you know what it can do and uh, but before I do anything I'm gonna strip it down and do a base rebuild um, now one thing I'm also gonna do is I may upgrade some of this hardware um, these diff cases are available uh, for replacement and I ordered a pair of them they should be in shortly so I may not do it on the first rebuild but I will do it at some point um, a lot of these screws are gonna be coarse thread screws and um, what I'd like to do is replace them with uh, better hardware um, hopefully uh, mostly Allen key hardware and uh, you know do a better job of, uh, of tapping those holes and, and threading these things up so that 
uh, because the coarse thread screws tend to chew the plastic up <clears throat> over time, especially if you take it apart more than once and they end up getting loose. They, they strip a lot easier and uh, they become loose over time and they become problematic. So um, it looks like I would probably be replacing a lot of this stuff with N2 hardware, uh, but we'll see how all that goes. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a process, should be a lot of fun. Got a lot of time this winter to do builds and uh, so I'm gonna be having some fun with this car and uh, it's gonna, definitely gonna get uh, run a good bit. So get out back and tear it around, have some fun. But like I said, um, I'm gonna resist the urge to just charge up the battery and uh, take this out for a thrash. There's no center diff. Uh, which is just one less diff to, to work on, but um, uh, you know, I don't see that as an issue, especially for a vehicle this size and, and uh, of this uh, you know, type. This is more of a basher vehicle. But uh, we'll see where I go with this. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. If you subscribe and you click the little bell icon, you'll get notification every time I release a new video. So you will see all the changes that I do to this vehicle and all my other RC car and airplane projects. So definitely subscribe. That's a huge help to me. Helps me keep this channel going. Thank you for watching.